All right, you guys, we are here. We're at the Druid's camp. We're looking nice for Yennefer again. We got the outfit on that she prefers. We don't have a baby face, but that's all right. I see her. I see wifey. You're mad, woman. Mad, I say. Right here. Maybe, but I've got good reason. I hold Siri dear too. <laughs> you know this damn well. But the mask of Orberus is no trifle. Have you any idea what could happen if it is used? Where are you burned? Any wonder? idea of the consequences? No, but neither do you. So you stop really white hair. Well, I can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Interesting. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know <laughs> if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. All right, I can say that we she did it for Siri, which she obviously did, but we've got Croc's permission. Theft or no theft, Croc gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch that no alien magic takes hold here. Secondly, after the cataclysm occurred, Croc turned to us for help and trusted this site to our care. Third. What? What was that? Distraction complete. Oh. Jennifer's used the mask. Good job, wifey. You did great. Follow me. We must neutralize the mask. We'll go grab that uh, stone of power later. Very shortly, I should say. We have to go track down Jennifer because she made off with the mask while we were distracting him. Totally not on purpose. Look, she saw an opportunity. She took it. They're all doing some weird shit. Let's go find Yennefer. She's over here. This is the Yennefer that we needed in the Witcher Netflix series. The uh, Yennefer that would literally do anything for Siri, not one that would betray her. Hate the damn Netflix show, man. Season one was so good, and they fucked it up. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the <laughs> foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Yeah, Ermion's pissed. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. She don't give a shit about him. <laughs> what now? Love the it. The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. 
Why, thank you. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? No. You do it whenever you want anyway. No harm in it then, is there? Let's go. Already found the first spot. All right, new quest item. Let's go ahead and take a swallow first because I don't want to die. There we go. I'm Jim Carrey's The Mask. All right, let's go, Yennefer. Lead the way. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Well, come on. Let's go, Yen. You're behind. You crossed the wrong sorceress. Show me what you got. Yeah, Watch talk out. your shit, Yen. Was that hmm a magic explosion of some sort so powerful that even the echo was dangerous i wager it destroyed the forest but siri and her companion weren't harmed i saw them escape let's see where to well they went this way place is creepy i don't like it nor do i anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving i know what you're thinking but don't worry siri can take care of herself Oh, we know that. All right, just bleed out and die, please. Thank you. Good little baby foglet. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Vela. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Lead the way. Don the mask. Damn! Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well, but the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us. We'll see what Krach has to say about this. Sure as hell shouldn't be angry. He agreed to help us. When he learns what's happened here. Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. <laughs> so? We think a powerful curse was cast here. 
Hmm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet. But we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded, but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. We went flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. So handy. Damn. Uh, I found the body in. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Ciri. But... why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. <sighs> It is true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well. It happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. All right, now we can say see you there because we have a couple of things to do here, but I'm just going to go together with her right now. Wait, can't we go together right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. Listen, I'll go <laughs> through a teleporter with You're you, Yennefer. Careful, there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. And I really don't want to travel all the way over there anyways. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Like every thumbnail after this video is just going to be Yennefer, 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 Yennefer. <laughs> so many this thumbnails over it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. So don't be surprised if, like, 90% of the video thumbnails after this is just Yennefer. What if he didn't abandon us? And me, but was living up and on the bar. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption. But we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeletal horses? Wearing frost-covered armor. Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men. Like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came. Cut him across his face. He tried to whisper. 
Only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Go on. Support her. To get help. To get life. But so many bodies. Yale. Ingvar. Little Neki. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea. Through the ravine. On horses made of bones. Bones and ice and- Enough! Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman. Name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many. I may have forgotten. This... this Siri, uh, Has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before... before it all. She was in the stables. With Craven. A thousand curses upon him. And who the hell is Craven? Remember anything else? Or anything a protective father Only figure moment? She seemed tired. Very tired. And and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Scar. Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Ha! <laughs> She's looking at me like... Alright, let's talk to her about a little bit more on Mark Farg. Got a problem. We Mark can also Farg. tend to this That's quest too while we're doing this. Could tend to it for you. Do so, and you will greatly please the goddess. That's nice and all, but coins what pleases me. You look the type. Fret not, I shall pay. But only if you rid us of Morkvarg, once and for all. There have been those who have killed Morkvarg, but a curse has brought him back each time. The curse. Tell me more. Archpriestess Alva cast it. It bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing. Albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvya to raid the goddess's garden. 
This was years ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, she cursed Morfarg, and he transformed into a monster. Could you be more specific? Monster can mean a lot of things these days. Folk have been known to call me that. I'm afraid I cannot tell you more, for I've never seen him myself. But... Hmm? You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morgfarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, provided he's not at sea. Farewell. The goddess protect you from all evil. Witcher. All right, so now we got more information on that, so. All right, Yennefer, lead the way. We'll come back through all of these areas Worry and clean up after all cold. of this, you guys. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Amen. I love your cold heart, Yennefer. It's okay. Keep doing your thing, you bad bitch, you. My, my. That must be Morgan. A bite. Just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shake. Not, not again. Not again. <laughs> He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, it'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Kaer Morin out from under you. Go already! All right, so for right now, let's just focus on Rain's this main blood. quest. We will come back Going and deal with Mark Farg very shortly. Clear. Should lead me to him. Something down there. Can't see a thing. Well, what is it? What do you know about this garden? Let me think. That it's dreadfully overgrown? Had its history in mind. They say Freya herself planted it. When the world was young, the goddess strode across Skellige, sowing seeds among the rocks. But Erberos the snake bit a hole in her basket. All her seeds poured from it and landed here. Thus, this garden is bounteous while the rest of Skellige is barren. You believe that? Is that a serious question? Of course not. Favorable microclimate for plant life. End of story. To transform into a werewolf. 
It's a dog's life, huh? Well, there's not a youth out there who doesn't have a wolf in his belly. Then the curse confined him to this garden? Couldn't really cut his wolf loose. No question he was top dog here. Just wolfing things down, or not. Geralt, that's enough, hmm? Fine. Still had a few good ones at the tip of my tongue. I'm sure you did. We'll say you won. I love their dialogue. All right, going back down. Be careful. All right, let's uh, get serious here. Let's follow these footsteps. Um, there's no point in going in here at all because everything is locked. Locked, also locked. So just had to show you guys that real quick. Let me go ahead and jump down here, follow the footsteps. Wee. Oh man, I was looting. Damn wolf. Let me loot, wolf. All right. Well, I guess we can go over here and find the no body. Bite marks. Morkfark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No. This one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. <laughs> Let's drop down here. Go investigate a little bit more. Lots of prints. Old and new. His lair must be nearby. Alright, now we pretty much just go along the path here, kill a bunch of wolves. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Craven's blood. We're basically reverse following the blood and footprints here. Door won't budge. That's Craven locked. Must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Morkvark doesn't gotta go around. Easily. All right, now let's climb up right here. We should be able to go talk to Yennefer. Well, what is? I found a corpse. This is just Not funny. Craven's, though. Uh huh. And you thought I'd find this interesting because? Because no bite marks on it. Doesn't seem strange to you. Zeracanian cuisine. Dandelion's fame and shoes with curly toes <laughs> seem strange to me, yet I don't discuss them with you. Reading between the lines here, think I'm wasting your time? I mean merely that we should focus on what's most important at the moment. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, going back down. Be careful. I'll go find another useless fact to go tell you, because I think it's funny. Anyways, um, all right, so now let's go this way. Now that we've pretty much investigated everything that we can, let's go over here. More footsteps over here to investigate if you want. Let's go ahead and climb up here. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a climb up spot right here. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. All right, now before we use these mechanisms, let's go into the cave just for a little bit of quest context. Key, Ramond, where's the key? All I have in the chapter house, the crate, but the key, where's the key? Why so silent, Ramond? You thief! You rogue! You horseman! You worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! You cannot hide your stench. Hey, Mark Bark, be nice. I'm trying to help you lift your curse here. Alright, let's talk to him before he dies. Willing to talk now? 
Only now can I. Such is the curse. <laughs> Makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But uh, the hunger, <laughs> anything I devour returns to ash. <laughs> ash, I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live in Rome and prowl. <laughs> the hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns my throat like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go, goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll re return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Let's ask him about Craven. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems it didn't work out. Those who come rarely introduce themselves. What did he look like? Uh, no idea. Then I cannot help you. Uh, I've shredded uh, uh, many. Uh, uh. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted, raided, drunk most away, all but one. Uh, true treasure uh, hid away. Yours, just help me. All right, let's finish him off. Tiresome conversation. Not interested. What will you do? What a witcher ought to. And poof, and he'll be back very soon. All right, let's go ahead and loot him. Examine this little thing that lets us know that there's a cave down there. Draft from below. A cave. Then let's go examine the book on Polymorphy and his little creation that he has here. Your friend, patient, doesn't mouth off. Yeah, totally. All right, now let's leave and go interact with the lever here. We can go talk to Einar. That's how you say his name. But um, this is just a way that we don't have to go talk to him twice. So let's go ahead and pop that. This should open. Let's throw that and then let's throw this. That opened the wrong gate. I want to open this gate. There we go, open that gate. Let's 
went around and looted a little bit. The Some herbs here. Through this door, must have smelled something beyond it. Bones. No sign of feeding. Markvog doesn't devour his victims. Strange. And here's the werewolf leg. It always grows back. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. Sure, tell me your story. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Locked me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite uh, brought pain uh, and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. Uh, my mouth burned uh, like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn, <laughs> felt I would die, <laughs> but I I did it, <laughs> and then <sighs> I shredded them, dashed them to bits, made tiny crumbs. <laughs> Of those playing heroes. Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. The moral is you cannot kill me, you cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters. The curse. Free me, or I'll return to get you again. All right, let's fight you again. And down he goes again. Here we are again. You kind end this release me. Yeah, you know, I'm working on it, but uh Tiresome conversation. Not interested. What will you do? Stab you again. What a witcher ought to. <laughs> well, that's two for three. And unfortunately, you don't stay dead. Alright, so we looted him again. Let's go on ahead and go back to the switches now, because we have to go to the underwater cave. I gotta play around with this thing until that one closes, and hopefully the one on the right opens? There we go, I think that opened it. Nice. I think it like takes turns opening. You just gotta go from right to left. Some Eve. Bones fell through the crevice years ago. And there's a key. Air's moving here. Must be another cave above or a way out. All right, once we got the key, we can um, exit and actually go back to the house where Yennefer's at. All right, let's go ahead and climb back up. Go this way, back towards Yennefer. Mm 
Now we can go into this house and open up all the doors. I did not want to do that. Let's go right first. I think there's a couple of loot. All right. Now to the left. And what we're looking for is a little book right there in the shelf. And this is what we're looking for, Mark Varg's journal. And from this that we learned that the guy that we were supposed to go talk to, Einar, was actually part of his crew. So we have to go confront him about it. So now we can actually go talk to him about the curse. That way we didn't have to um, go do it twice. Well, what is it? This curse that holds Morkvarg. Pretty interesting. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Anything he tries to eat turns to ash. But he chewed a piece of his own flesh and almost died. As I see it. Terribly sorry, but why must I hear this? <laughs> well, thought it might interest you. And maybe we could think of a way to lift the curse. Together. I don't know, Geralt. Maybe try feeding him his own haunch? I don't really care. We're not here for you to satisfy your ambitions. Play the consummate witcher. We're here to learn about Siri. Must I remind you? And it's so funny because she literally gives you that um, as a solution, and it's something that you can actually do. You can actually feed him his own werewolf meat yet again. We don't want to do that, but it's funny that she just throws that out there like, yeah, just do that. Like, I don't care, whatever. And then it's actually something that'll work. But I'm actually going to take the fast way out of here, I think. We open up the one to the, the left. Open, but nothing's happening. Yeah, clearly, Geralt. There we go. That should open the one on the left now if we do this. It goes by this little wooden thing. So the one on the left, obviously, is this, this opens and closes and this changes which one it is. So if the one on the left is up, you just... It's obviously going to be this one. Then the one in the middle. We're gonna have to do the one in the middle again soon. But I just wanna go this way so we can go talk to Einar real quick. Leave Yennefer. Sorry, Yen. Alright, so I just went straight for him here. He's right here. You, Dimwit. Drop one more and I'll keel hold you. Got a minute. Preparing my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs were the hunters some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. Alright, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm hmm. Bet she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Morkvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. All right, so let's call him a liar. We got the truth already. Liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I'm no knight errant. I'm a witcher. Didn't come here to bring you to justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? Need to know what actually happened in the garden. Gonna lift Morkvark's curse. Why would you bloody do that? Horson should suffer till Ragnarok. The day after, actually. All right, if we fight him, we won't get his... We'll get the, uh... The Fang, but we won't get his confession, which doesn't really matter, but... It's what I do. Used to say the same myself, till Morkvarg gave the order to sail for Hindisfjall. I've raided often and cruelly. Killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit... But priestesses, 
It was too much, even for me. When, when it was over and Mokvarg was drinking with the rest, I took this out. Wolf Fang pendant, covered in runes. I got it from my da, who was god eye of our village. Told me that anyone I cut with a fang would suffer a fate worse than death. Spoke true, it seems. Your pop pop mentioned how to reverse this? Victim needs to get the fang, is all. But I'll not give it to you. That horse son should suffer. Listen, the priestesses, they really long to get their garden back. And as I see it, you owe them, don't you think? All right, take it. But it don't come free. Want one thing in return. Won't tell anyone about your past, give you my word. Not that. If you do, I'll just find you and kill you. You Once can more fucking try. Again, you can't let him leave. No matter what. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. Jennifer, Jennifer, I figured out the curse. She doesn't care, by the way. We can just continue on over this way. Go back to the levers and um, get the middle one to open up now. There we go. Open it up. There we go. Jump! Something we can um, investigate a little further more over here. Prince lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. Jump into the well. Alright, I think we can actually open this. Can we open this? Yeah, and this is back where we were, but um Alright, let's go ahead and jump down now. Roots. So I'm right under Yen. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! Me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Sorry, and I didn't mean to scare you. Let's follow the blood trails. And there he is. But let's go check this out real quick. Key to Freya's One garden. Freya's priestesses. No signs of violence. Must have died of hunger a while ago. Must have hid here when Morkvar raided the garden. A key. Could come in handy. Waited a long time for death to come. All right, now let's also unlock this. There we go, and that's back out to the other side. Now, I just did that because once we examine this body, it'll um, start a cutscene. By the way, in that house that the other key uh, unlocks, actually, um, you can get, I'm, I think it is this long claw diagram if you don't already have it. I think it's supposed to spawn there no matter what, but we already have it, so that's why I didn't grab it. We must have grabbed it from one of the many other hundreds of chests that we've already looted. Alright you guys, before we interact with that body and start the very long cutscene with Siri and Yen, let's go ahead and kill Mark Vark first and complete that quest line before we start the main quest. There he is. Hey buddy, I'm back! Here we are again. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and hand him the thing. Here, put this on. I need no more fangs. <sighs> Don't be a smart ass, just do it. Yeah, just do it. I'm free. Free! At last! Oh, where's the tavern? I could eat a broiled pig. No, a side of beef. Wash it down with a cask of ale. Then to see. They forgot me, no doubt. <laughs> well, I'll fucking remind them with a bang in Novigrad everywhere. <laughs> I'm back. 
And he already wants to continue killing people. Fair winds and all, but before you go, my reward? Right. Nearly forgot. Happens often. Too often. Calm yourself. I'm a man of honor. Now listen. You'll go to Novigrad. To the bits. Find the vulture, the moneylender. Tell him Morkvark sends his regards. And you'll know me to be a generous man. Farewell then. But let's kill him anyways. Giving me no choice. And he just died from bleed damage. <laughs> That's so funny. But I just had to kill him anyways because I didn't want to leave him alive. Obviously, he's a piece of crap. I know you feel better. You but you're yet too love weak to retreat on a journey. Thank you. But I don't want to overstay my welcome. Besides, it's time I went home. They must all think me dead there. Fret not. I'm certain they await you. All right, now I'm going to show you guys both rewards Greetings. here. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. Two experience points, Maybe unfortunately, not very much. Place. 85 crowns. I had to talk to Why Freya, the, the priestess. Brought myself here, seems to me. You do not worship Freya. Absolutely no, not. But I respect those that do, including her priestesses. Yep. This does you credit, but is meaningless as well. For Freya rewards and punishes those of other faiths and infidels as she does her own. Worship her and it will help, though it will settle nothing. What do you need? Yeah, yeah, the old, uh, you're going to hell. Uh... Tell me something about this temple, could you? It happened once that Freya lost her favorite white cat. She scoured the aisles and finally found him here. Freya's heart filled with joy and she blessed this place. A temple was then established here. Didn't know Freya was into cats? <laughs> Your ignorance speaks poorly of you. <laughs> the white cat is the goddess's sacred animal and has deep symbolic significance. This temple is for those who seek Freya's help in finding what they desperately seek. Perhaps even you shall experience her grace. Scorn her not, or have you friends so powerful that you can afford to spurn divine aid? Mind if I have a look at your wares? Alright, now from her, I don't think we can actually grab anything, but I might as well grab the book. Alright, so again, make sure you ask about your reward from Mark Fork before you uh, decide to kill him, if you want to kill him, and then we can come over here to the broker and get our next reward. Hello there. Pawning or buying? Mark Fork sends his regards. Here. Anyone asks, I don't know him. Never laid eyes on him. And all right, and that's the whole entire quest. And two experience points. And we got another sword. I don't know how many of those we've gotten already, but 